Darudram 2 is an air-launched anti-radiation missile developed by India's Defence Research and Development Organisation. It is designed to be fired from Indian Air Force aircraft, particularly the Sukhoi Su-30 MKI fighter jets. The missile is intended to target enemy radars, communication facilities and other electronic warfare assets. Hello and welcome to News Affairs. If you know the meaning of Rudram, please share your views in the comment section below. An anti-radiation missile equipped with a passive homing head, the Rudram 2 is capable of detecting and tracking radar emissions from ground-based air defense systems, surveillance radar and other electronic warfare equipment. Once a target is identified, the missile can home in on the source of the emissions, enabling the Indian Air Force to neutralize or suppress enemy air defenses before launching airstrikes or conducting other missions deep into hostile territory. The successful test launch of the Rudram 2 from the Sukhoi Su-30 MKI fighter jet marks a significant milestone in India's quest to enhance its aerial strike capabilities and strengthen its deterrence posture. By integrating such advanced air-launched weapons into its fleet, the Indian Air Force can effectively disrupt enemy air defense networks, providing greater protection for its own aircraft and enhancing the success of its mission. Rudram 2 is a hypersonic aeroballistic air-to-surface missile being developed by DRDO. The missile have a solid rocket motor for propulsion with a range of 50 to 300 kilometers. The missile will have peak speed of 5.5 mark, that is hypersonic. The missile will have two variants for different roles, that is anti-radiation missile and ground attack. The missile can be sent to annihilate the enemy RAR positions from an altitude of 3 to 15 kilometers with a payload of 200 kilograms. Rudram 2's capability has been enhanced with addition of imaging infrared IIR seeker. With IIR and passive homing head, PHH working in tandem enables Rudram 2 to easily attack enemy bunkers, air bases, arms and ammunition depots, aircraft hangars, etc. in addition to attacking radiation emitting targets. Furthermore, the Rudram 2's development and deployment demonstrate India's growing indigenous defense capabilities and its commitment to self-reliance in defense technology. By harnessing the expertise of organizations like the DRDO, Bharat aims to reduce its reliance on foreign military equipment and strengthen its domestic defense industry. The successful integration and test firing of the Rudram 2 also highlights the close collaboration between the DRDO the Indian Air Force and other defense agencies in Bharat. Such cooperation is essential for the timely development, testing and deployment of advanced weapon systems, ensuring that the country remains prepared to meet evolving security challenges. Overall, the Rudram 2 represents a significant addition to Bharat's air-launched arsenal, providing the Indian Air Force with a potent tool to neutralize enemy air defenses and enhance its operational capabilities. As Bharat continues to modernize its armed forces and invest in cutting-edge defense technology, the Rudram 2 stands out as a testament to the country's commitment to maintaining a credible deterrence posture and safeguarding its national security interests. Jai Hind!